Pearson's Correlation Coefficient Data Analysis, using the Microsoft Excel Analysis Tool Pack. The Pearson's Correlation Coefficient is a statistical analysis used to measure the statistical relationship, or association, between two variables. The correlation coefficient, a value between minus 1 and plus 1, tells you how strongly two variables are related to each other. This guide teaches you how to perform correlation analysis, with the use of built-in Excel functions, and the Excel Analysis Tool Pack. For our specific example, we would like to determine the relationship between the study hours of various students, and their test scores. We can use the Coral function, or the Correlation Test in Analysis Tool Pack to find the correlation coefficient between these two variables. Also, we can use a graph to verify our conclusion from the data analysis. Let's first use the built-in Coral function to analyze our data. Click cell A8. Then type equal sign Coral, parenthesis, a tooth, A6, comma, B2, B6, close parenthesis. Then hit enter. From the given data, and using the Coral function of Excel, we got a correlation coefficient of 0.9936818. Next, we can use the Analysis Tool Pack add-in to conduct the correlation analysis. Make sure the Analysis Tool Pack is activated in your system. To load the Analysis Tool Pack add-in, execute the following steps. On the File tab, click Options. Then, under the Add-ins menu. Look below the Inactive Applications add-ins. Select Analysis Tool Pack and click on the Go button. Then click OK button. When this dialog box appear, make sure to check Analysis Tool Pack tick box and click on OK. Now that the tool pack has been added, you may click on the Data tab menu. Then in the Analysis group found in the far right side of the menu, you can now click on Data Analysis tab. After selecting the Data Analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From the choices of different analysis tools, select the correlation. Then click OK. Let us input the data for the study hours of students, and their test scores. To do this, Click in the Input Range box, and select the range cells from A1 to B6. Next, click on Labels in First Row button. Then click the Output Range Option button, then click in the Output Range box, and select cell A10. This provides the location placement of the resulting output. Click OK. Check out the output results for the correlation coefficient, from both methods. Notice that both methods, gave the same correlation coefficient of 0.9936818. This is the Pearson's R correlation coefficient. Let's compare this result from the table of interpreting the size of correlation coefficient. 
Notice that the coefficient falls within the range 0.90 to 1.00. Thus, the interpretation is very high positive correlation. Therefore, we can conclude that there is a very high positive correlation between students' study hours and their test scores. We can also verify our conclusion through graphical analysis by using an Excel chart. First, select the cells range from A1 to B6. Then, on the Insert tab, in the Charts group, click the line symbol. Then, click Line with Markers. Here is the chart of students' study hours and test scores. Notice from the line graph, that as the study hours increases, the test scores also increases. Also, when the study hours decreases, the test scores also decreases. This verifies our previous conclusion of a very high positive correlation or relationship between study hours and test scores of the students. For our next example, we would like to determine the relationship between percent of residents vaccinated in an area, and new cases of positive viral infection. Again, we can use the Coral function, or the Analysis Toolpack Correlation Test in Excel, to find the correlation coefficient between the two variables. We can also use a graph to verify our conclusion from the data analysis. Let's first use the built-in Coral function to analyze our data. Click cell A8. Then type equal sign Coral parenthesis A2 A6 comma B2 B6 close parenthesis. Then hit enter. From the given data, using the Coral function of Excel, we got a correlation coefficient of negative 0.975715728. Next, we can use the analysis tool pack add-in, the correlation test in particular. Now that the tool pack has been added, you may click on the data tab menu. Then in the analysis group found in the far right side of the menu, you can now click on data analysis tab. After selecting the data analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From the choices of different analysis tools, select the correlation. Then click OK. Let us input the data for the percent vaccinated, and new cases. To do this, click in the input range box, and select the range cells from A1 to B6. Next, click on labels in first row button. Then click the Output Range Option button, then click in the Output Range box, and select cell A10. This provides the location placement of the resulting output. Click OK. Check out the output results for the correlation coefficient from both methods. Both methods gave the same correlation coefficient of negative 0.975715728. This is the Pearson's R correlation coefficient. Let's compare this result from the table of interpreting the Pearson's R correlation coefficient. Notice that the coefficient falls within the range negative 0.90 to negative 1.00. Thus, the interpretation is very high negative correlation. 
Therefore, we can conclude that there is a very high negative correlation between percent residents vaccinated, and new cases of viral infection. We can also verify our conclusion through graphical analysis, by using an Excel chart. First, select the cells range from A1 to B6. Then, on the Insert tab, in the Charts group, click the line symbol. Then, click Line with Markers. Here is the chart of percent vaccinated and new cases. Notice from the line graph, that as the percent vaccinated increases, new cases of viral infection decreases. Also, when the percent vaccinated decreases, new cases of viral infection increases. This verifies our previous conclusion of a very strong negative correlation or relationship between percent residents vaccinated and new cases of viral infection. In summary, we discussed how to get the Pearson's R correlation coefficient by using the coral function the correlation test in analysis 2 pack and by graphical analysis. Please check out other videos from this channel on how to use the analysis tool pack.